Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.cincy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your star Scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is sort of an add-on video from that little haul that I did of warm reviews of the Father's Day collection and the mental health collection. And it looks like I left my coffee up here, but isn't this cute? Little mushrooms. Mushrooms are all the rage. I never did get the cute as a button warmer because I figured that I would get that later on in the year and then it sold out completely and now it's on back order which never happens. So hopefully at one point I'll be able to post this with my cute as a button but it'll have to wait till you guys and I can get it back in stock. So let's start with the mental health awareness warm reviews and the Father's Day collection which I sort of cheated because I wanted to smell them so much that most of the time I'm really patient and I will do just cold sniffs with you guys and then I'll go and review, but I had a crazy weekend and I really wanted to get that black tie one in the warmer, which did not disappoint, so we'll talk about that later. Anyway, let's start with the mental health awareness and I'm going to give you guys some comparisons of other scents that these remind me of. And it looks like I also forgot to move that base, so. Okay, rosemary and mint. Blue Lavender and Bergamot, the Chamomile and Vanilla, and the Lemon and Mandarin. These are so nice and they will be available, I believe, on May the 1st for all of you. And we get early access a couple weeks early as consultants. It comes in a beautiful little giftable container and I really like the colors in this. They certainly convey that idea of peace and tranquility. So Sensi said that the Blue Lavender and Bergamot, which probably is the best performer of the four, was supposed to have Lavender, bergamot, a touch of eucalyptus to encourage relaxation and rejuvenation with every breath, they say. This was fantastic. It threw really well. It is that classic spa type scent. And if you add the eucalyptus and the lavender, it kind of reminds me of a sharper version of Blue Sage and Tonka, which is no longer with us. I do have this in my club because my older daughter, that's like her favorite thing ever. But this lasts for a couple days. I put two cubes of this in my Twine to Unwind warmer in our bedroom, and it was just perfection. It was really calming, and over time, it lost a lot of the notes and kind of calmed down to pretty much just a lavender base. So if you're not a huge fan of the eucalyptus and all of that, it doesn't last as long. So you may have to struggle through the first few hours if that's not your type of scent, but if you really like Just Breathe, that's going to be a softer version. If you like anything else that's eucalyptus -y, that one's really nice. And then French Lavender is kind of what you get at the end of the melt when that's all that's left. So if you could imagine sort of shoving these two together and adding a touch of Just Breathe, you're going to end up with your beautiful Blue Lavender and Bergamot. It's so good. So then the next one, this really made my husband happy and me. This is the Rosemary and Mint. They say that it is a rush of fresh garden mint that invigorates rosemary oil and eucalyptus. I didn't get any rush of mint. If you want that, you do the mint fields that's in one of the garden collections. That's a rush of mint. But this is really nice. More eucalyptus and rosemary. And I did still have way downstairs somewhere some rosemary mint from way back in the day. This has tea tree in it, which the new one does not. This is a little stronger. This is a little more health food store. And I think that this newer rosemary and mint is slightly updated and to me a little bit more attractive. Really nice relaxing herbal smell. If you want calm and peaceful, it leans a little bit Vicks Vapor Rub, but not too much. This rosemary and mint is very balanced and I really liked it a lot. Now the next one, I don't have anything to compare this with. This is probably my personal favorite of the four. This is chamomile and vanilla. It is very herbal. It's not like a sweet vanilla. It's more of a, an herbal, again, health food store type vanilla with the chamomile, but it's just so cozy. This is a rainy day with a book and a really nice fuzzy blanket and a cup of tea kind of a smell. So Sensi says that this is chamomile flower and sheer vanilla that share a meditative moment of calm. This is so calming. It lasted beautifully at a medium strength all through the house. And I do have to say the rosemary and mint was reasonably strong at first and then it just dropped down to a pretty steady medium. It was a good scent. But this one, this one may go in my club. I love this. It's just cuddly, it's gentle, it's herbal, it's soothing, it was so nice. And then the lemon and mandarin, my friend Robin is really funny. I forgot how much she hated eucalyptus and I asked her what she thought of these and she just hates Sensi's eucalyptus so it was kind of a want for her. But she liked this one. This is 
lemon and mandarin having a citrus infusion of Meyer lemon and mandarin that lighten the mood with a hint of lime. So it's sort of like a nicer, more updated version of the one where we've got all the citrus jammed in it together, which is sunkissed citrus. This is lighter than that, but kind of think along those lines. I do like this bar. I might get a couple more of it when it comes available. And you can't add these types of collections to club the month that it's released because it is a charitable cause sort of a collection. So the mental health awareness, like the breast cancer awareness last year, in October, you could get the four pack of breast cancer awareness bars. Same thing with this. In May, you'll be able to get the mental health awareness and you can buy as many bundles as you want that come in the cute little packaging, but you can't separate them. Then if you want these as separate bars, you can put them into your club in the month of June. I'm pretty sure that those facts are right. I'll double check it and tell you if I'm wrong later. Anyway, but this one, the lemon and mandarin, very light, just subtle citrus, very peaceful and clean. All of them remind me more of oil blends than of our typical wax bar base when it comes to how the notes interact with each other. Would I get this again? Yes, I'm hoping to get a couple bundles of it when they come available in May because I want to melt these all the time. They're just beautiful. And just as good to me, at least one of them for sure, as that mental health awareness was the Father's Day Trio. And I just talked about this in my last haul video, but I got impatient because I had a crazy weekend where I couldn't film. And it was one of the few times where I just wanted to melt one of those bars and I did not wait for cold sniffs when it came to uh, doing the haul with you guys. Black Tie Affair is one of the nicest bars that's come down the pike for me in a Father's Day collection in years. This is so good, you guys. It's tobacco and vanilla. And then it has white grapefruit and vetiver. I don't know how they came up with this combination of notes. It kind of reminds me of satin sheets, which I do have here. Now the satin sheets is, it's a bit different because it's sandalwood and vanilla, but the vanilla sweetness that's in both of these is very similar. So if you're grieving the loss of satin sheets because you didn't throw it in your club, I didn't. And you want something that's kind of like that. Instead of the sandalwood, it's got the vetiver and the tobacco. It has that beautiful vanilla sweetness. This throws it a good medium, kind of medium strong for me in my house, which is on the smaller side. And you couldn't kill it. It went for a couple of days. It was just gorgeous. So this is one of my top favorite bars of the whole 2024 season so far. Going in my club, not coming out. Excellent with vitamin R. I did them on the same day in alternate warmers. It was fabulous. If you missed out on vitamin R and satin sheets, try this. It's really good. Then the next one is called Day on the Field. This is more kind of aquatic and not really grassy. It's more just fresh. And what this reminds me of is a toned down version. So it's more genteel. It's a little more self-possessed than um, Jade and Jasmine. Any of you remember this? This, I call this bar a herd of middle school boys just found cologne. This is so strong. Oh my gosh. And my older daughter loves it. And every time I melt this, you can even smell it outside. Like it seeps out the windows into the front yard. I'm not kidding. So this bar is great, but it's a lot. So if you don't want a lot of that, but you want a similar smell, this new day on the field is along those lines and just so much more chill. It's a nice medium. It'll go for a long time, but it isn't going to completely knock you out of the park. So this is really, really nice if you like that type of scent. And then last but not least, the open air exploring is beautiful. This one has jasmine, salt water. It's more of a fresh, clean scent. The open air field, it kind of flirts between a little bit masculine cologne, but not really, and fresh in more of a green way. This is blue, it's aquatic, but this is tailored and has a little bit of a spa lean also. It's really, really good. So I liked all three of them. This is the most subtle of them, the most kind of neutral. The other two to me are more masculine, but all three are very nice. And those are all of the bars that I have been melting very happily from the last couple of new releases. I'm just about getting ready to get on the computer and order my Black Raspberry Vanilla Sensepirations, which I think will be super fun. I'll get those in hopefully in the next week or so. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Now I'll do a regular what I've been warming video. I'll probably film that tomorrow. And I will throw these in there because I can tell you more about them individually or how they interacted in the house and all that. But 
Those were so good, all seven of them, that I wanted to do a warm review that was special, which I don't tend to do a lot of anymore for these really small collections, but you're super good. So both of those will be available on different Mondays in May, and I hope you guys have a great day. God bless.